Hello, everybody. I'm John Macaluso. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing Paiste symbols and why I chose to use these, my favorite symbols in the world. Welcome. Okay. I played with um, a band called Ark, Ingve uh, Malmsteen, um, TNT, Riot, KRS One. Starbreaker, James Labrie of Dream Theater, um, many, many, Been playing a long time, <laughs> but um, Paiste I've always wanted to use since I was a kid. My first real symbol I bought was um, it was a Paiste 2002-16, just like this. And I played it so much where I cracked it. And I was just so into the sound. I love the Paiste cymbals. Because all my favorite drummers used Paiste. Terry Bozio, John Bonham, Stuart Copeland. And instantly I can hear the sound of a Paiste on a record. It wasn't like another cymbal where it could have been, or it could have been Paiste you knew right away from, I call it spicy. It's got Tabasco sauce. It's got the spice. It's got a high pitch where you can always tell. So I've always wanted to use Paiste, and I'm very proud. I've been in the Dawson now for uh, two years. I'm very proud to play my favorite symbol. Uh, something that cuts and something that's deep at the same time. A lot of symbols that are cut from other companies, they don't have the depth. They don't have the, the real power. And then the powerful symbols are not high pitched enough. So I always had a problem. And I did, a, I recorded over 200 records. And no matter who the engineer was, I never got that Paiste sound from the past when I was recording, because I used different companies. And I always wanted that Paiste sound. I could never get it. And then instantly, when I got my first set of Paistes, the engineer was like, John, those cymbals are incredible. And I remember, I'm like, finally. It changed my life, it changed my playing, it changed my sound, and it changed, and honestly, I started to work more. So thank you guys, true story. These are beautiful hi-hats here. These are um, Sound Edge 14s, and again, they have power, they have spice, and the good thing with the 2002s, you can really lay into them. You can roll on them. Which is a great thing. Some hi-hats, the stick digs in too much. So these are really good to play with if you want to play a lot of chops. Cup chimes, my favorite drummer is Terry Bozio. So I've been into these things since I was a kid. And do some real interesting things, like I play a lot of linear style. Sixteen-inch crash. For a sixteen-inch crash, it's the most powerful symbol I know. I mean, you could tell instantly on an album that it's a Paiste sixteen. It's clear, and it's got, you know, what it's got. It's not and now I can get away with a sixteen again, because it's cool. Because all the girls could finally see my face. <laughs> it's not so big. Anyway, so the sixteen is a beautiful thing. I the ride. Now, with rides, I'm really picky, very picky. I play, I'm like one of the only drummers still that uses plastic tips. I'm like the Fred Flintstone of drumming, but I love plastic tips, right? Um, the problem with the plastic tip, it's hard to get a good cymbal sound on the ride because um, sometimes it's too bright. So I, I have a couple of cymbal setups. This is my 2002 setup, and I also have like a really personal setup and I use a thing called the dark metal ride. And these two symbols I'm talking about, they have a stick definition with a plastic tip, but it's not too pingy. Ding, ding. It's, you don't have that. It's still deep enough.
It's a beautiful piece of work. And I went to the Paiste factory a couple of times, and it's the only factory where they're actually hand-making the stuff. These guys are artists. They sit there all day fine-tuning into their work. It's a beautiful place to, to visit um, in Notwell, Switzerland. And it's so, it's artwork what they do in the factory. So if you ever get a chance to visit, go. It's incredible. <laughs> Eighteen inch, another one for an eighteen. Check this thing out. The cool thing about the eighteen, it doesn't run away. Like sometimes I use two chinas, but sometimes I don't want to sound so clangy, so I use two crashes when I do my Bozia routine, and each each symbol really cuts. can hear the symbol. It's not. That's, that's what I really love about the small Pisces. You could use them in rock, you could use them in metal, but they still cut. You know, they don't run away from you. Even the 20, Ian Pace. Nothing beats the 20. I love the 20. So you can ride on the 20. So this is my live setup for 2002s. The beautiful thing about 2002s is if you're on the road and you're getting loaner kits or you're traveling, they're very easy to get and you can always rely on them for recording and live stuff. You know? So that's it.